एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम finding it difficult to cut the section and make the true shape of the solid obtained in this video we will learn the concept of section of solids of a truncated cone welcome to s chand academy and i am anmol bhatia and in this video we will be learning the concept of section of solids and development of surfaces specifically for the case of truncated cones if you want to learn the concepts in detail you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below so let's start the video this is lecture number 10 of the series engineering graphics and drawing course and in this uh, lecture we'll be learning uh, the concept of uh, section of solids and development of surfaces specifically taking an example of truncated cones before beginning uh, the lecture let me tell you that we are uh, doing the module number 4 which is section of solid and uh, development of surfaces and specifically we are doing the topic of these pyramids cones for the auxiliary views so we'll be understanding this concept with the help of uh, a problem that i have taken from the book and uh, this problem says that there is a cone which is 50 mm uh, in base dia and 70 mm axis it is standing on the base on hp so what does it mean it means that i have a cone this shape and the base dia of this cone is 50 mm and the height of the cone is 70 mm so it is standing on the horizontal plane now what the question says it says that it is being cut by a section plane 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane so in the horizontal plane it is given so it is indicated that you will have the section or the sectional plane in the front view so initially what you will do you will you will make the uh, top view and the front view of the object so if i look at this object from the top what do i get i'll get this circle so i'll make the circle as a top view and if i look the at the object from the front i'll get a triangle now as per the requirement of the question the question says that is it is being cut by a section which is 45 degree inclined to the horizontal plane so if the horizontal plane is mentioned in the question that means you need to have the cut section in the front view so i have to cut this section 45 degree having an inclination with the horizontal plane so if this section is cut uh, you will get this shape like this now the question demands for finding out the sectional views true shape and the development of the surface so in this video what we'll do we'll have the concept clarity on uh, the true shape and sectional view of the projections so when i look at from the front i'll get the sectional front view and when i look at from the top i'll get the sectional top view so in the top view what do i get i'll get a circle and inside that circle i'll get this cut section right and if the true shape is required so this shape is being asked in the question so this shape will be making in the sheet and the section part of the top view is also to be made on the sheet so it is very difficult to just uh, look at the object and make the sections so we have a set procedure for it so let us proceed for the uh, the solution so in the uh, in the question initially what we need to make we need to make the top view as a circle and the front view as a triangle why circle and a triangle because it is a cone and the cone has uh, when i look at the cone from the top i'll get a circle and when i look at the cone from the front i'll get a triangle and as it is a first angle projection so top view appears below the xy line and the front view appears above the xy line now the question says that it is being cut by a section which is 45 degree inclined to the surface so i need to take a, a section which is like this and the section is inclined to the base by an angle of 45 degree 
so i need to take a section which is inclined at an angle of 45 degree now uh, what to do so basically if i cut the section like this i'll get the sectional front view i'll get the sectional front view now i need to indicate the the section on the top view part also so for that i need to just drop down the projectors from the above part and this one this b is joined from this region to this region so this part is named as b and h so when b is propelled downward it will get uh, intersected with this b line and then h when expelled or uh, when the projector of h is uh, taken downwards it will match at this point so it is named as h similarly for c and g so this part is c and g so when this matches with this part you will get the g part right and when it matches with c you will get the c thing there similarly for f and d here and for e you have this region this one so f and um, d here and e part is there so coming to the production of the sectional view you will join all the parts that you obtained together so join all the parts together and in order to indicate the cut section what to do in order to indicate that cut section you have to uh, draw the hatched lines so here the hatch lines can be obtained so if you draw the hatch lines you will get the sectional top view there so this is the first part in which you obtain the sectional top view by joining the projected parts of the front view section with the top view section then the question says that you need to draw the true shape of the section so in order to draw the true shape of the section you need to have a projector which is placed perpendicularly to these surfaces so these projectors are placed perpendicularly from these cut section areas now after making these perpendiculars you have to draw the x1 y1 line so there is a line which is x1 y1 can be drawn at any distance from this particular front view now uh, we need to draw some um, points on this on these lines so what do we have we can measure the distance from this xy line till the a point and mark on the uh, this a section so we can open the compass from this point to this point and uh, measure it similar measurement we can uh, cut on this surface so we'll get all the points together if i measure this region to b i'll get or i'll measure this part with b or i'll connect this part with b and label all the points together as per the uh, requirements like this part would be a part and this part would be b then this one be would be h similarly for c f e and d and we'll join all the parts together now once all the parts are joined together i would rather make the hatching or the hatch lines on the surface so hatch lines are very important if you are making a solid surface so um, solid or these hatch lines indicates that inside the material is not hollow rather it is solid when you cut the section or the sectional uh, or the object with the help of the sectional plane so this is the aspect and uh, the question uh, was demanding about the projections section view true shape and the development so till now what we have seen we have seen the case of uh, making the projected views or the projections which is sectional top view sectional front view and the true shape of the object so we come to the end of the first part of the video in which we learnt the concept of section of solid and specifically we have taken the case of cutting the section of a cone and in short it would be named as a truncated cone in the second part we'll be learning about the development of the surfaces if you want to study the concept in detail 
uh, you can refer to the book by S. Chan Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. So if you find the video interesting, you can like, share, subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.